Hi, my name is David Parsons. I'm an application engineer for the Industrial Business Group. I'd like to introduce today the RL78 G14, which has been designed for motor control applications, covering such applications as fans and pumps and other low-cost solutions. Uh, I'd like to introduce the, the, the product. The focus today is on vector control, which is sensorless, uh, true vector control. Um, but first, I'd like to introduce the device. The device is made of uh, uh, an internal 1% uh, oscillator. Um, the CPU can run up to 30 megahertz, 32 megahertz. Um, the family members include uh, flash from 16 kilobytes to 512 and package sizes to 30 pins to 100 pins. The, de the device has been designed for motor control applications and provide timer structures to support three-phase motor control, external encoder uh, and hall sensor inclusion. Uh, the A to D converter can be triggered from the timer structure if required and also support self-test with temperature sensing and also voltage references. Um, the built-in safety features include flash error correction and detection, um, A to D self-test, ramp and function register protection, as well as clock monitoring and uh, a hardware watchdog with its own independent clock supply. Because of the integration levels, the RL78, like many of the other families, integrates a lot of external functionality, such as voltage regulator, uh, external E-squared ROM can be inc incorporated on chip, uh, external references for uh, the A to D, and also for uh, clock monitoring. As part of this, we have generated a reference board uh, for mo dedicated to motor control. And this is the, uh, the board today, which you can see here on our display stand. The features of this is uh, a demonstration motor as part of the kit that can support motor control, sensorless motor control, um, with sampling frequencies up to eight kilohertz and PWM frequencies up to 24 kilohertz. The kit will include all of the necessary components, which will include the PCB, as we see here, cable, GUI, which we'll see a little later, the demonstration motor, and all the documentation and software to support the application. The board itself, um, as we can see here, includes on-chip power supplies, USB interface for the control GUI or debugging. The device itself with a pinout so that all of the uh, IOs are accessible. External interface so that external circuitry can be added or connected to the board. And the motor interface here so we have an internal inverter uh, which can support uh, the demonstration motor and also customers uh, specific motors as well. The board is capable of being isolated as well, such that if an external power supply or high voltage power supply is used in the application, the USB interface for the GUI or the debugging is fully isolated um, in, and offers protection to the user. The GUI um, comprises of the main control window, a status window, and some parameter uh, that can be defined and changed by the user. Um, we should show this running with the, uh, with the board. So here are the three elements. So we have a, uh, a control window that defines the speed and direction of the motor. So you can vary the speed and the direction. some graphs that show the speed reference, 
the internal voltages that are required in terms of the power supply and the generated voltages, which can be seen and monitored, and also the, uh, the same for the currents. So we also have the property window, so that look at the motor control parameters, speed, current, voltage, alarm, uh, error conditions, and, uh, and these sorts of things. The status window shows the basic functionality of the device and also the self-test status as well. So whether the, the RAM, the flash, peripherals and the uh, clock are all running correctly. The last thing on the, uh, on the GUI is the internal parameters. So these can be used to set up a different motor or provide tuning capability for an existing motor. So the user has the capability to adjust these parameters during the operation of the motor, examine the results of the operation and decide whether it needs to be uh, modified further. So the, uh, the demonstration kit will be available shortly and we're pr promoting this as a pre-release here at Embedded World.